How to solve age problem? Ito ang topic natin ngayon. Papakita ko sa inyo kung paano isolve ito sa napakadaling paraan. At kung multiple choice ang exam, tuturoan kayo ng isang malupit na technique na kung saan, hindi nyo na halos kailangang mag-solve. Kung gusto nyo malaman kung paano, huwag kang aalis! Ano ba ang tayong dapat tandaan kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang age problem? Unang-una, lahat ng characters sabay-sabay tumatanda at sabay-sabay bumabata. Example, 5 years ago, yung edad ko tsaka edad mo, minus 5. 10 years from now, yung edad ko tsaka edad mo, plus 10. Hindi pwedeng may antayan o iwanan. Sabay. Pangalawang bagay, sa kahit anong panahon, ang age difference ng mga characters ay laging constant. Example, kung mas matanda ako sa kapatid ko ng tatlong taon, 5 years ago, tatlong taon pa rin ang tanda ko sa kanya. 7 years from now, tatlong taon pa rin ang tanda ko sa kanya. Hanggang magkaedad kami, tatlong taon pa rin ang tanda ko sa kanya since birth. Hindi magbabago yon. Constant. Let us put this into action. The sum of Sasa and Kakai's age is 11. Last year, Sasa was twice as old as Kakai. How old are they now? One good strategy in dealing with age problem is to put the data into table. Na kung saan, yung mga characters natin sa first column, tapos yung succeeding columns, lalagyan natin ng label na past, present, future. Gaya ng nakikita natin sa baba. Dito, instead na X at Y ang edad ni Sasa at Kakai, i-represent lang natin ng X ang edad ng dalawa. Hanggat maaari, mga kapatid sa pananampalataya, ang paggamit ng variable, very minimal lang. Para mas madaling computein. Observe, kung x ang id kakay, ang edad ni Sasa naman ay 11 minus x. Kasi ang sum ng edad nila ay 11. One year ago, sabay tumatanda, sabay bumabata, magsusubtract tayo ng 1 sa current age nila. So, yung edad ni Sasa, pwede natin isimplify as 10 minus x. Since wala naman siyang future, pwede natin siyang i-disregard. <laughs> Ang sabi sa equation, last year, Sasa was twice as old as Kakay. Balang working equation natin, Sasa is equal to twice the age of Kakay. Just substitute, distribute, by transposing common terms from left and right, simplify, divide both sides by 3, then we get x equals 4. Kung si Kakay ay 4, si Sasa ay 11 minus X or 7. Tingnan natin sa susunod na example. 2 years ago, Clyde was twice as old as Drake and Faye was 2 years older than Clyde. 2 years from now, the sum of their ages will be 39. How old are they now? Kagaya ng nauna, gagawa tayo ng table na kung saan uunahin natin yung mga characters natin. Si Clyde, si Drake at si Faye. Pagkatapos nito, i-represent natin ng X yung edad ni Drake. Sa kanya kasi binasi yung mga edad ni Clyde at yung edad naman ni Faye ay nakabase kay Clyde. So, si Drake yung lumalabas na independent variable. So, 2 years ago, ang edad ni Drake ay X minus 2. Ang sabi sa problem, Clyde was twice as old as Drake. So, dodoblihin lang natin yung edad ni Drake. 2 times the quantity X minus 2. Pag dinistribute natin yan, pwedeng isimplify as 2X minus 4. Again, according to the problem, Faye was 2 years older than Clyde. So, mas matanda siya ng dalawang taong kay Clyde. Mag-add lang tayo ng 2. Pwede natin i-simplify as 2x minus 2. Ito yung edad nila 2 years ago. Yung present age nila, mag-add tayo ng 2 dito sa past age nila. So, yung magiging edad ni Clyde ay 2x minus 2 at yung edad ni Faye ay 2x. Ngayon, in 2 years, mag-add tayo ng 2 sa present age nila. 2x minus 2 plus 2, x plus 2, at 2x plus 2. Yung edad ni Clyde, 2x minus 2 plus 2, pwede natin i-cancel na yung 2, pwede lang natin isulat as 2x. Ngayon, ang sabi sa problem, the sum of their ages will be 39. Pag inad natin yung edad nila, 2 years from now, 2x plus x plus 2x plus 2 plus 2, makakuha tayo ng 5x plus 4 equals 39. Ito na yung ating working equation. So, from here, Transpose, simplify, divide both sides by 5, we get x equals 7. Sino ba si x? Ito si Drake. Then, 2x is equals to 14. Ito yung edad ni Faye. Then, 2x minus 2, ito yung edad ni 
Clyde. Dagdagan pa natin na isa. Problem number 3. Five years ago, Fritz's age was half the age he will be in 8 years. How old is Fritz? Same pattern pa rin. Nagyan natin yung character natin, then the table, past, present, future. So, we left X. Ito yung current age ni Fritz. Five years ago, ang edad niya is X minus 5. In 8 years, ang edad niya ay X plus 8. Dito guys, kinumpara yung past age sa future's age. Dito sa equation natin, makikita natin na yung edad ni Fritz 5 years ago ay kalahati ng edad niya 8 years from now. So, from here, just substitute. X minus 5 is equals to 1 half times the quantity X plus 8. Multiply both sides of the equation by 2. We get 2X minus 10 equals X plus 8. Transpose. Combine like terms. We get X equals 18. Kapag multiple choice na ang exam, hindi na natin kailangan pagdaanan yung pinagagawa natin kanina. Pero syempre, recap tayo rin sa problem solving strategy. Check may video nga pala tungkol doon. Ang first step natin is understanding the problem. Syempre, you cannot answer the problem if you don't understand the problem. Mahirap sagutin yung isang tanong pag hindi mo naiintindihan. Ha? Apply natin yan dito sa mga succeeding problems. The sum of Yangge and Tok Tok's ages is 18. In 3 years, Yangge will be twice as old as Tok Tok. How old are they now? Kung mapapansin natin sa first condition na kapag kainad natin yung edad ni Yangge at ni Tok Tok ay 18, yung letter A natin, pasok. 5 plus 13 is 18. Ganun din si letter B, 6 and 12. Sa first condition, si letter C sablay kasi plus 5, 14 is 19, tsaka 7 plus 14 is 21. So, dalawa na lang ang matitira sa atin. So, kung mapapansin natin, ang sabi niya, pagdating daw ng tatlong taon, yung edad ni Yangi ay doble ng edad ni Tok Tok. Mas matanda si Yangi kay Tok Tok. Dodoblehin kasi edad ni Tok Tok. So, kung titingnan natin, pagpalagyan natin si letter B yung tenes natin, ano? Uh, 6 plus 3, sabay tatanda sila, 12 plus 3, magiging 9 and 15. Hindi niya masasatisfy yung second condition. Pero si letter A, pag nag sa kanya ng 3, magiging 8. Si 13, pag nag sa kanya ng 3, magiging 16. Masasatisfy niya yung condition. So, without solving, alam natin na si letter A ang sagot. Problem number 2. Gwen was 14 years old. Her father was 37. Now that Gwen's father is twice as old as Gwen, how old is Gwen? So, sa first condition, guys, kung mapapansin natin, ano, uh, pwede natin kunin yung age gap nung mag-ama. Ang age gap nila ay 23. So, kung mapapansin natin, <laughs> sabay silang tumatanda. Ang age gap ay constant sa kahit anong panahon. Ang tinatanong sa atin is, how old is Gwen? Ito yung mga possible choices natin. Lahat to ay pwedeng mag Pero we're looking for the right answer. Kung baga, pagka nag tayo lahat ng 23 dyan, kinakailangan masatisfy niya yung condition na yung edad ni Gwen ay doble ng edad ng tatay. Kung i natin lahat to, so mapapansin natin, si letter B, 23 and 46. Actually, maski hindi na natin lagyan lahat ng plus 23, ang makikita na natin yan from the first glance. So from there, we can decide that B is the answer. Siya lang kasi magsasatisfy ng condition. Problem number 3. Matthew's father is 4 times as old as Matthew. 5 years ago, he was 7 times as old as Matthew. How old are they now? Dito muna tayo sa first condition. Matthew's father is 4 times as old as Matthew. Current age. Kasi present tense is. So, tingnan natin dito sa mga given natin. Kung mapapansin natin, si letter B, hindi niya masasatisfy yung first condition. The rest, times 4 mo yung isa, lalabas yung isa. 5 years ago, kung mapapansin natin, ano? Ang sabi dito is, he was 7 times as old as Matthew. Kung obserbahan natin yung mga data, imposibleng maging sagot si letter D kasi magkakaroon tayo ng negative 1. 4 and 16, although sinatisfy niya yung first condition, pero 5 years ago, hindi na hindi niya na masasatisfy kasi magiging negative 1 yung edad ng isa, tapos 11 yung isa. Masyadong bata, ano? On the process pa lang si Matthew. So, tatanggalin natin si letter D. We only have A and C. Ngayon, tingnan natin yung condition. He was 7 times as old as Matthew. Sino ba rito yung may ganitong condition? Kung mapapansin natin, it's only letter A, hindi si letter C. Kasi 2 times 7 is not 23. Pero dito, 5 times 7, it's 35. So, we can get the answer. Letter A. Problem number 4. A boy is one third as old as his brother and 80 years younger than his sister. The sum of their ages is 38. How old is the boy? Dito muna tayo sa first condition. A boy is one third as old as his brother. So, ibig sabihin, yung edad ni boy times 3 mo, yun yung edad ni kuya. So, kung gagawin natin yan sa apat na given, wala pa yung edad ni ate rito, mapapansin natin, si letter A, pagkainad natin sila, 40 na, si boy pa lang, tsaka si brother. Si letter C, ganun din. Eh, ang sabi kasi rito, the sum of their ages is 38. So, hindi pwede maging sagot si A, tsaka si C. So, two possible answers, si D, 
tsaka CD na lang. Tapos, ang sabi rito, the boy is 8 years younger than his sister. So, mas bata siya ng 8 taon sa ate niya. So, ibig sabihin yung ate niya, matanda ng 8 taon sa kanya. Kung 8 si boy, 16 yung ate niya. Kung 6 si boy, 14 yung ate niya. Ito yung mga possible ages nila. I-add lang natin silang lahat. So, kung mapapansin nyo, si letter B, you will get 48. Hindi niya isasatisfy yung the sum of their ages is 38. Hindi niya isasatisfy yung condition ng problem. So, ang magsasatisfy lang sa atin ay si letter D. When Pokemon was born, his father's age was the age of Pokemon now. The sum of their ages is 69. How old is Pokemon now? Dito muna tayo sa first condition. When Pokemon was born, his father's age was the age of Pokemon now. Mangyayari lang to, o pwede lang mangyari to, kapag tayong current age ni Pokemon, tinimes to mo, ito yung current age ng tatay niya. From the condition. So kung mapapansin natin, the sum of their ages is 69. Dito sa mga choices na to, red yung father's age. Ang magbibigay lang sa atin ng sum na 69 ay si letter C. So, ibig sabihin, ang edad ni Pokemon ay 23. Problem number 6. The ratio of Fritz and Clyde's age is 3 is to 2, respectively. 6 years ago, the ratio of their ages was 2 is to 1. How old are they now? Ito yung mga choices natin. Tingnan muna natin yung ating first condition. The ratio of Fritz and Clyde's age is 3 is to 2. Sino ba magbibigay sa atin ng 3 is to 2 dito at sino ba ang hindi? Kung mapapansin natin, si letter B hindi niya isasatisfy yung first condition. The rest, isasatisfy na nila. 6 years ago, so subtract tayo ng 6 sa lahat. Si letter A, wala pa yung isa. Yung isa negative on the process. Si letter C, 9 and 4. Si letter D, 12 and 6. Ang sabi 6 years ago, The ratio of their ages was 2 is to 1. Sino ba ang pwedeng magbigay sa atin nito? Kung, kung mapapansin natin, ang magsasatisfy lang nito, 2 is to 1, 6 years ago, is the letter B. Salamat sa panood mga kapatid sa panunan ng palataya. Kung meron nga pala kayong tanong, suggestions, clarifications, huwag kayong may hihiyang mag-message sa atin. Just message me, okay? And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, tasagutan natin yan sa abot ng aking makakaya. Thank you very much and God bless.